Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo Tales. Hey everybody, I'm Blue the Prairie Dog, your host with the most. Yeah? No wait, let's try that again. Hey everybody, it's Blue the Prairie Dog here, your host with the most. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo Dungeon. Uh, last time we basically got the prologue done, the uh, first chapter done, that was all like mostly one recording, but I split it up into two. Uh, yeah, so we basically helped Mayor Gale remember his name, we helped Sid remember himself, and uh, yeah. So in this episode, this will be chapter two. Chapter one was uh, a while back. Uh, in this episode, I guess we'll be continuing on with the story. Chocobo, wake up! Chocobo! There you go. I know you're tired. Where are you? Well, you're in Stella's farmhouse. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's go. So, uh... What to say? What to say? Uh, right, well, like I was saying earlier, I don't know if I'm gonna show the dungeons, like if I'm gonna show all of them, that that's just something you to you can read if this is your first time playing the game. So yeah, I'm not gonna you know do the dungeons like completely, like show every floor. Like I did the last few episodes, but... Thanks. Time. So yeah, uh, like I said, not gonna show every floor of each dungeon just gonna show like at least maybe the first 10 floors for the dungeons that aren't memory dungeons those ones I'll show you know completely cause they, they're usually pretty short um but like the main dungeons the ones that really matter not really gonna show all you know I'll maybe show the first 10 floors and then uh, show you the boss and that's about it uh, side quests well the side quest dungeons I'll show those like I said uh, but side quests not having to do with dungeons I'll do that stuff off screen like showing these cows fish and flowers and whatnot, and uh, you know other things Uh, let's see, um, Mulan. If you have any questions about equipment, don't hesitate to ask. I suppose you're wondering why a cow is an expert on equipment. Well, I've seen many an adventurer pass through this town and fail. I see all their successes and failures in my dreams. And blah, 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 blah. so there we go. Okay, so for equipment, hello, Derry. I'm Melanie. You must be the brave chocobo. Ooh, I do like adventures. I have an idea. Why don't I tell you all I know about fighting monsters? You beat in a dungeon, you'll lose all your. We already know this stuff. Um. So yeah. So side quests not having to do with dungeons will be done off screen, but I'll just show off. You know what? You know what? the rewards are for finishing them, I guess. Let's go in here. Is there something in here? 
Oh yeah. Hmm. I think we need to talk to someone or make a, you know, go through a memory dungeon first before we can grab those. So yeah. Alright, let's go find this kid. Let's say let's check the train. Kids like trains, don't they? I know when I was younger I liked trains. Thomas the tank engine. Eh? 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 I mean train engine? Tank engine? Maybe. I don't know. That would be fun. Someone draw fan art of that. <laughs> Thomas the tank engine. An actual tank train. Uh, uh, I guess I'll just show this off just, just for the hilarity of it. Yes, Chocobo, go for a swim. That's right. Chocobo is swimming in a pond. Look at that! That rubber ducky is of Chocobo! <laughs> oh, that's so hilarious. He shakes himself and he's already dry. Cool. Okay, let's let's go to the town of Lost Time. Note the name. Yes, I've been saying that a lot, haven't I? It's just that there's a lot of foreshadowing with a lot of this stuff. I didn't foresee it at first when I first played the game, but once I finished the game, a lot of stuff started to make sense why it was mentioned in everything. So, if we talk to him... Uh, I guess that means... Let's see what this cat has to say. Raffaello? Ah, the green haired boy. Eh? Yes, I heard about him. Al said he flew through the air to the mining zone. But how'd he do that? He has no wings. Maybe Al is telling a little fib, eh? So that cat apparently told us some very good information. I've been playing all n I've been praying all night, but still don't have our fire back. Yawn. Oh, Pastor Rorsch. Let's check something out. Okay, just show you a couple things, I guess, in here. Uh, she'll become important, like, in chapter 2? 3? I mean... Uh, he, he's pretty important, I guess. Uh, this, this, this is, uh, you'll want to keep note of that. As well as this thing. I don't know what that thing is, but whatever. <laughs> Every time I try to perform an action in front of it, it does nothing, so I'm not sure what that is. And over here, I'm not sure what her deal is. Let's see, hang on. Uh, this is something I completely forgot about while I was playing this, at least later on in the game. Hmm. I think you can buy like potions and such from there. You know, drinkable items. But other than that, I don't think he's good for anything else. Alright, let's get moving on. Just so I don't piss anyone off though, hang on. A lot of the stuff is going to become important later on. Like this guy right here. He'll give you hints, but I, I, I don't really know. They, 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 they rarely ever help. So, whatever. Right, let's get over here. Talk to Mary Gale. Let's see if he's seen anything. 
I'm Rowdy, I don't have a mom or a dad, so I'm all alone, but I don't feel lonely, because whenever I feel lonely, I hear the clock tower bell strike, and then I forget everything. Eek, what are you? You're so cute. You're Chocobo? I'm Claire. The only Chocobo I've seen were the fat Chocobos at the storage. I've never seen one so yellow and fluffy like you. Jeez. Fat Chocobo. Hey, have you met Freya yet? Man, she is hot. Must be from working that forge all day. She and Mia, they're like fire and water, you know? Freya likes out, lives out in the mining zone. If you see her, say hi to me. Say hi her for me. Uh, great. Hey! Chip's adventuring rule number two. The brave know when to run. Rookie adventurers always get too greedy and take too many chances. Maybe that works for a while, but no one's lucky forever. If, you, if you're beaten in battle, you'll lose all your yellow and items except what you're wearing. Greed will cost you, so take it slowly, but uh, okay. Basically what he was saying was, you know, uh, don't press your luck. Yes, we get it. You think he's cute. Everyone does. But my, what good talents you have. I can take those talents and... Uh... Shh. That was sort of... an innuendo. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, I didn't make that joke. Chocobo, destroyer of worlds. Okay, there. What a comeback. Okay. Oh crap, not that dang bell again. Last time it made me forget and- um, what were they talking about? No, Hey, I kept my memories. Oh my gosh. How, how did that happen? Well, see you, Sherma. Okay, time to get cracking. Huh, what was I trying to get cracking on? I'm forgetting too many things these days. Oh well. Uh, no you don't. You're the freaking blacksmith of the town. I need you. Right and right, so... Before we go in, I want to take you to talk to this dog. Uh, woof. My name's Ren. I patrol the mining zone. I know everything that goes on here. Okay, whatever. Shut up. Okay, this guy. Okay, so he sells wooden talons, a cloth bag, uh, geisha greens, and potions. So, let's buy the cloth bag because we're gonna need that oh crap right uh duh um right then uh there's no need for this another funny thing i want to show you guys it's not in here yet I think if you look 
I'm not sure if that's it, but... Huh. That machine is for pop-up battles. If you've played Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo Tales, uh, then you'll know that the pop-up battle cards were uh, important piece of important aspect of the gameplay but not as important as the mini games and everything it was like mostly everything was solved with going through pop-up books rather than you know pop-up battles uh, okay I guess we're gonna have to go through this one on our own out much. These rusty talons, I'm going to go sell them. Oops. <laughs> and these regular leathers. And I'm going to sell this stuff. Uh, need this stuff, so I'll say... This this will become important later on in the chapter. Okay? Okay. So first off, let me just save. Make sure I don't make a major mistake. Here we go. Into Freya's memories. We gotta help this girl. Not only is she the blacksmith, but well, she's a lot, a lot more important than just being the blacksmith. My dog, my dog is sleeping, or kind of. He's more or less being lazy, um, sitting on the couch behind me, more like laying, and he's, I don't know if he's watching me, I don't know. Again, Dungeon Hero X. <laughs> Hi, Kiba! Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, late, later in the dungeons, a lot of the items won't have, you know, won't be easily identifiable. Like, when you pick them up, the vague name, you know, it'll have a vague name. And in a lot of dungeons, later on, every item you pick up will have a vague name. And this won't be easily identifiable, you know, like the items early on. So, you gotta be careful with that stuff. Like, when you need a potion and you pick up a bottle, uh, it may not be a potion. <laughs> well. Yes, this, this still will be important. One thing I find that really helped me through this game was level grinding in dungeons I've visited previously. Ah, uh, antidote. We're gonna need that too. Some enemies can inflict the poison uh, status effect on you. Uh, this early on in the game, it'll do some damage. But later on, you won't have to worry. Thank you for the job points. Thank you for the job points. There's the exit to the next floor, but I wanna make sure I'm not missing any junk. Oh, leveled up. Oh, job points more. 
Alright, I guess we're out of here. Just to let you guys know, Freya's pretty awesome. You'll understand why. Later on. <laughs> uh, see? Right there. If the if the name of the item is in purple on your uh, inventory screen, that means that there's more to that item than meets the eye. So, we don't have any appraisal glasses on us at the moment, which makes me mad. Uh, that right there is a bomb, or a bomb monster, shade bomb to be more precise. Uh, those things are dangerous. Thank goodness. Usually when they beef up like that, they're about to explode. So you sh shit. <laughs> so you should really be careful, you know, not let yourself get blowed up. Don't let yourself explode. Fire talons. Oh cram, budget. Ow. Ooh, money. Ah, uh, these guys are annoying. Or not. Drop something. Damn it. Somehow manage that. Uh, I do not have. Darn it. You know what? Yeah, let's just get out of here. Let's hope on the next floor I'll find them. So yeah, you can do this and you can regenerate health. Why isn't it? What the? Okay, weird. Oh. gonna go ahead and equip these yes these are much better oops I totally missed the stairs.
There we go. This the saddle, the soda. Or any more fire tones, really. Uh. Oh my gosh, potion. Thank you. Oh crap, crap, crap. Uh. Okay, this is gonna be bad, uh. I'm going in. So first thing I'm going to do is... And kick these. Kick that. Chocobo kick. Just to make sure. Chocobo kick. And for the finish, Chocobo kick. be right back. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> yeah, first death of the let's play. Let's pretend like it never happened. Oh, no. Okay, fine then. Whatever. But it never happened. Look! I have all my items back. Yeah. <laughs> also, this potion. This potion I bought from Harris over there. And, uh, he's, uh, uh cost me a lot of money, see? I only have six skill left now. So, uh, saving once again. And let's go into our memories. Hopefully this time we'll fare better. That was so many. So, uh, yeah, meet you back at the boss. Uh, okay, back. God. Okay, discrepancy in my levels and how much skill I had and, uh, you know, my inventory as a whole. Uh, 
Shit happens, I guess, is what you could say. Get over here. Get over here. Okay, so... Job leveled up. I got Chocobo Drop. Deal slight damage all nearby foes. Slight damage, uh... Crap. Eat that. <laughs> this is bad. Chocobo kick. Not gonna let that happen. to kill something. I really do. Uh, this was a horrible second, third episode. Uh. memories gotten beginning to remember about a distant past and a terrible entity and about our town that's right i remember now i'm a blacksmith
Okay, so, I guess that's okay, cool. Oh. So they ain't doing what? I don't freaking fucking... Uh, hold on for a minute. Yeah, okay. I'll be right back. No, I won't. I'm still here. Haha. <laughs> Meh. I'll be right back, actually. Right, so you're gonna want to put all your items and money in the bank first before coming here. Uh, Pastor Roche. Uh, Pastor Roche, sorry. Let's see. Okay. Hang on. Duh, I gotta do some stuff first. Derp. It's like, why wasn't it working? Duh. Okay, gotta go over here in town. Talk to Sid. A bell that makes people forget and a baby that makes people remember. We haven't seen the works of this yet. Behind Rafael. Okay, uh, maybe it was this one? No, that can't be right. Okay, go. Okay, maybe I have to go here. And maybe do I have to go talk to him now? Okay, uh, alright guys, I guess this ends off the episode here, uh, I'll figure this out in the next part of chapter one, okay? Uh, so until then, 
Until then.